Hey, Slot Heads. <clears throat> it's been a minute. Uh, I haven't made any videos, haven't done anything. <clears throat> I'm behind on everything, honestly. So I've got some projects that I need to do today. <clears throat> There's a couple that I figure I'd uh, show y'all. My wife and I, we've been buying Hot Wheels and other cars, M2 cars, whatever else. No, I'm not gonna start covering Hot Wheels and all this other stuff. It's not gonna be a normal thing. Just today, we got the garages full of Hot Wheels, bedrooms full of Hot Wheels, and it's time to get them put up. So I bought some of this board channel stuff. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's all over YouTube and TikTok, people doing this. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, I'm not gonna cover, uh, do a how-to. I'm just gonna put the stuff up. Um, let's see, what else? I got a bunch of uh, pictures and stuff to hang up, some signs here. Pretty much the only beer I drink. I don't drink it often, but you know. Anyway, so I wanna get that stuff up. I, got, I wanna show y'all kinda what I've been doing or what I haven't been doing and um, Anyway, let's just get to it. So, as you can see here, uh, I got those pieces put up. I just put a strip across the bottom. Uh, it's a, just an end piece. Looks like, like this. And then, uh, I got the, the double-sided, the double-sided one. Oh, I keep bumping the camera. It's got the slot on both sides. So I cut them at, cut these at four foot a piece. Uh, I've got an end piece here, obviously, end piece down here. And then these are the double-sided. I just used a cheap, Staple gun with three eight staples. Uh, obviously, easiest solution is to put a hot wheel in there. And then you can put your other piece next to it, staple it in. This side, I didn't have the luxury of doing that, so I just used a level all the way up. Threw some staples in there. And it should be rock solid. So, I just used some dikes to, to cut the stuff and made a little notch at the bottom so that it would sit down inside that piece and go right in there. Well, here it is. Um, I didn't get them all on there. I need, a, need some more of the, the double-sided slide pieces. The other part that kind of bothers me, maybe it's a little low CD, I don't know. But the cars themselves, the, the clear deal, some of them are different heights. So even though there's the same amount of cars in there, some of them, the tops aren't even all the way across. So that's a bit annoying, but I can, I can live with it. Put the Hot Wheels signs up. Go ahead and hang up the rest of my pictures and signs that I've got. And uh, then we'll talk about the, uh, the CNC. So you can see here, I've added some more, some more signs. I just added these today. Um, I added the one at the very top over there, uh, the Valvoline and the Porsche over here. So I kind of did a line here. I don't really want to go below that because I never know what's going to go there. Um, that Valvoline sign over there, I'll probably put one next to another one next to it and that'll be a low, as low as I go there. So it's kind of just from here up. So I'll fill that gap in and that gap in, go down here. I kind of want to get one of those, uh, the barbershop deals that, you know, the spin, I don't remember what it's called, but go on the corner there and put up like a, um, a red light somewhere. But I have all that over there, which I need to, get some type of space to hang things better. 
it's just a work in progress for the for the garage and uh i'm gonna clean off the cnc make it look a little better and then we'll we'll talk about it all right so just a little update on the cnc it it works um I haven't routed anything with it, but I have drawn with it. As you can see here, I know some of you probably saw my, my short that I did on it, but I drew the crown there. Um, tried doing my logo there. And I'm just drawing on my spool board because it'll get cut away anyway. So the issue that I come across is it's not, uh, it's not true. It's not level, level, it's not really level. It's not, it's not true. So here all the way across the other side is lower than the middle and, and so on. So I'm going to loosen up these bolts that are across here and I'm gonna put shims under here to bring it up closer to the center. And then I have a, uh, surfacing bit here then I'll put the surfacing bit in the router and then I'll go across the table and, and true the table to make sure it's completely flat um, so that's that's where I'm at with the um, the CNC um, it's been it's kind of hard to try to learn how to design your own stuff, especially using Fusion 360. So I'm still, I haven't worked on it lately, but um, that's what I have been working on here and there. And then I'm using Esselcam to put whatever you design into it and then, you know, make the CNC to create the G code for the CNC. So I've been messing with that, and that's how learned doing drawing the stuff. This isn't really that hard. I can I put it into Inkscape, convert it to SVG, put it into Esselcam, and it'll do its thing. I can just set. Basically, I'm not. I'm just. It's basically zero. It'll go down a little bit. I think 0.1 millimeter, something like that. And um, drawing on it, it's easy. So learning how to, your feeds and speeds and how much you can, how much material you can take at one time. That's all stuff that I'm, that I'm learning. I did uh, buy a probe here. So this connects to your um, end mill or whatever. So if it was, if this was up inside the router, I connect this to it and then this will the router comes down to the home itself or zero itself out and since you know this is metal and this the touch plate is metal it touches off and then it knows where it's at it's already said in there that this is uh, like 0 0.05 or 0.5 millimeters so um, but yeah there's that and then I needed uh, some dust collection. I almost bought the Harbor Freight dust collector, but I didn't really want to mess with adapting stuff. So I ended up buying this big old deal right here. The 16 gallon, six horsepower, Bauer wet dry vac. There. And uh, I think it'll get the job done for now. But little did I know, I'm gonna to have to adapt anyway. So I probably should have got the other thing, but this has got the freaking warranty deal. If it burns up, I'll take it back and get another one. Um, but anyway, so as far as for the CNC goes, let me adjust. So what I'm gonna do is this is a, like a two inch and so my other shop vac uses like a one and a quarter inch. So I'm gonna to go to Lowe's and buy a one, one and a quarter inch, roughly one and a half inch um, vacuum hose to go, because on the router itself, it's one and a half inches. So, and the, it's smaller and a little more flexible than what this is. 
So I'm gonna run the, the, the smaller hose along this gantry here and then make an adapter so that the vacuum will go roughly like right here and then it can move move down the side. So the vacuum will just sit sit down here on the floor and uh, I'll have a 3D printed, I guess a 3D printed elbow is what I'm gonna print that'll come out here and hang off, hang off the side and then just move. So I've got a lot of work to do with that. This hose isn't that flexible or nor that long. So I could use it, but then I've got to friggin figure out how to, it just, it's not long enough. So I'll use the smaller hose and then make a, an adapter to go from this to the smaller hose. And then this will just hang off, hang off there. Um, but anyway, so as far as CNC goes, that's about where I'm at. I know some of y'all have seen it, some of y'all haven't, but, but that's it. I also need to square it. So I need to mark each corner, have the CNC go down and touch off and see where, what the numbers are. And then I can either adjust the end stop um, screws there that the end stops hit and uh, do it that way or I can make an adjustment in the uh, in the software so but that's where that's where I'm at with that so the last thing that I uh, want to show you is the, the truck I've been working on it's been a slow process I didn't it didn't make it to Harry's so uh, there's that part but um, still working on it. It's been a, a pretty fun build. Some of y'all probably seen it on the HRW Facebook, but I've enjoyed building this, trying to do something different. It's got some weight to it. I'm, I don't really know how much it weighs, but it'll be be a nice truck when it's done. Hopefully it'll be a good runner. If Harry does another Nats deal or something with trucks, then I'll get it sent in. My main focus now is uh, the uh, Land Barge Proxy at Harry's and Mark Thomas's. So I got a couple cars for that and I won't be doing anything too crazy as far as chassis builds on that. Um, just uh, simple br brass chassis and um, something that runs, goes around the track. So um, I still got a lot to do on the truck. I got interior to do, motor to do, more painting. Um, a lot of it's missing still, so Tail lights had to do some modifications, so other parts will probably have to be modified to to work. I uh, stretched the rear out here. I don't know if you can see it. No, can't really see it under there. There's a brass bar that goes across the back. You can kind of see it in there. That brings out the back of the bed just a little bit. So I don't know how. Well, the tail light buckets are gonna go in there. Um, I think that's really all I've done to modify it. The issue I had was the rear is so wide, I had to cut out all inside the bed to get the wheels to fit. True, I'm really, really good to get them to fit, but, uh, but it definitely rolls, rolls good now. I'm gonna do some more trimming on the, uh, where the wheels mount to the, the axles, the set screw there. It touches part of the brass on there and that's that. That's what you're hearing when it rolls. 
but otherwise it's pretty free. But anywho, it's kind of really all I wanted to show you all today. I haven't made a video in a while. Needed to get something out there. There's been a lot going on. Car trouble, that's been my main deal. My truck is still down, so I gotta get it fixed, which is not a huge ordeal. Some seals. And uh, my car was down for three weeks waiting on parts for the uh, clutch. My clutch pedal had went to the floor and uh, needed a clutch master, a clutch slave cylinder, and the line. And I waited three weeks for that stuff. So, anyway, I try to keep it short, not spend too much time on one particular thing. I just kind of want to give y'all an update. I'm still here, still alive, still messing with slot cars. Um, nothing's going to change as far as my channel goes. Um, but like I said earlier, I'm not adding Hot Wheels to the, the channel. It was just something that I needed to do today and just kind of showing y'all that I do other things other than uh, slot cars. So, um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll try to keep y'all updated a little more frequently. And uh, if y'all want to see anything else, just comment down below and let me know if there's things that you want to see more of. Um, I got a lot of slot cars that need to go on some shelves and other cars that need to get hung up on the wall because they're still in the packages. But um, anyway, enjoy the rest of y'all's Sunday evening and I'll see you later, slotheads.